often we want to compare a lot of different tags to each other. So we want to see 10 different tags and we want to see all their values at the same time so that we can compare them. Like we want to see all their values at 1 o'clock so that we can compare them. So to do that, let's go down here and I'm going to say data item. And now we're going to get multiple data items onto our sheet. So now we're going to search and we're going to get multiple data items into our sheet. So I'm going to say in a row here. And now I want to select a couple of these. So we're going to select 10. And we'll say OK. And you'll notice when it comes on, it's a little, little kind of messy because th these are long strings and they're kind of overlapping each other. Mm, that's, that's tough because we can't actually see what we're trying to look for. So let's, let's try something else instead. Let's click search and now we're going to select our 10. And now we'll use this root path length bar and we'll move it over. So now we've separated out because this is very repetitive. You notice like it's all the same for all of these. Well, wouldn't it be great if we could just have that in one cell off to the side and then we can have all our attributes in another cell? Well, we can do that and we, we have an option of just doing a column or a row or using a drop down list. So we'll just use column or row. And you see it comes out here. Now, right now, they're just in two different cells like this. Yeah. And what we can do is we can do a transpose function. So I can copy this copy and now I can paste it transposed and now I, I don't need this anymore so I can get rid of those and I only need one of these really don't I okay and then I'll shrink this up and now I have a list of different attributes all next to each other you see that so I'll see. all along and what I need to do to get sample data for it is I need to, well, I'll need to define when I want my start time and end time to be, and I'll, just, I'll put that in. Sample data. The data items, the root path is going to be used now. The root path is going to be this root path right here. And the data items is going to be this whole list. So I'll just get a few of these. Now the start time, we'll just scroll up. We'll use the same start time as the, the above spot. So start time will be here. End time field will be B5. Time interval is still going to be one hour. And the output cell, that's where I want it to go. I want, I want to see timestamps. Yeah, I want to see timestamps. And when I apply, I see a whole listing of even times and then data for each of the pi tags. Data for each of these pi attributes lined up against each other evenly.